Hi everyone, my name is Aubrey Watt, and today we're going to be learning how to pixelate an image in GIMP into dot pixels so that it looks like newsprint or like an old comic book. The first thing we're going to do is go to Filters, Distorts, and then down to where it says Newsprint. Now, the image we're always going to see is the top left, so I'm actually going to move over to the right and you can kind of see where the image is so that we have a better idea of the detail in here. The first thing you'll want to change is the cell size. These cells are a little small for my liking, so I'd probably make them bigger to make the, the effect more pronounced. And although you can separate it into different colors, I'm just going to separate it by intensity so that it's only black dots. The spot function is what changes the shape. We can have lines instead of dots, or if we wanted we could have diamonds, a couple other things too, but I'm going to leave it as a round dot. And notice that it's pretty choppy up here. The way to change that and fix it is to increase the oversampling. And you can see how that makes your dots a little bit more round. And we hit OK. And it's changed it into our pixelated dots. Now notice that the image that we had before is still underneath. And I'm not sure if there's a better way to get rid of that. But what I do is select by color and just select somewhere in the black region. Now all of the black dots are selected. Then what we can do is we can just copy it and paste it as a layer. And now we have this on our clipboard above the other image. And if we um, take the other image away, I'm actually going to select again to get rid of this selection by color. I hate that. <laughs> um, now we have all of the black dots, but no background. So we're going to need to add in a background. The way to do that is to go layer, new layer, and then just add in a white background, which you can then move underneath the clipboard. And so our final image is going to be our clipboarded pixelated dots on top of a white background layer. And now we have an image that looks like an old newsprint cartoon. So I hope this helps. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. Thanks.